my grandpa used to always say, there's a mysterious portal in your studio. Might as well go through it. Hello, friends. Welcome back to the show. So glad to see you once again. And if you're new here, well, then welcome, because this is the channel that you've been looking for to see a review of each and every episode of Superman, the animated series. Not a lot of people are doing that, but I'm your guy. We talk about each episode that we grew up on as kids in the 90s and look at them from the perspective of now. I give you a rundown of the episode, my thoughts now, my memories of the episode. And today we're talking about Tools of the Trade, which originally aired on February 1st, 1997. I keep telling you guys, Inner Gang needs real armaments, weapons of mass destruction, and all I get are toys! Well, Mr. Mannheim is back and up to no good, but now he has a bit of a secret admirer supplying him with some weapons, but we're going to talk all about that right after our 60-second rundown of the episode. Here we go. Mannheim is trying to rob the uh, Metropolis Gold Exchange, and so Superman swoops in and stops him, and the SCU is there, and kind of getting laughed at by the press as Superman's doing all their work for them, and Mannheim goes, gee, I wish I had some better weapons to be able to stop, uh, be able to really do some crimes, and in comes Kanto with some weapons to offer him from his employer, and says, here you go, try these out. So they try them out on a train, and they're trying to rob the train, and they have some success, except Superman still comes in and stops him, and Dan Turpin uh, ends up quitting because, uh, if you want to work with Superman, work with Superman. And then he goes off to do some work on his own and ends up getting captured. And then Su uh, uh, Mannheim gets some more weapons and one including uh, that will be able to stop uh, uh, Superman. And so uh, Superman is going there to stop them. But Mannheim uh, is getting beaten. And it's actually Dan Turpin that ends up trying to save and is able to save Superman. And Superman gives him credit. But then we find out that Mannheim went through the portable with Kanto and meets Darkseid. Right under the wire. Thanks. Anytime, pal. So we have the return of Mannheim in this episode. It starts out with some great action. We've got some tanks that are uh, are robbing the, the Metropolis Gold Exchange. And I have to say this is the first time that I've ever seen a tank use its turret to smack people out of the way, which... I guess is a pretty creative way of using a tank. I do have to say the animation in this episode is really starting to get its own kind of style. There's some neat silhouettes with Superman when he comes into the tank and at the end with his glowing eyes. Some neat stylized animation where, you know, with Batman, again, I, I don't mean to keep comparing it to that, but in Batman, one of the things that I really enjoyed was the animation style and that kind of film noir uh, element and this you know I, I like that it's brighter and it's and it's warmer being outside during the day and things like that but they they're missing some of the stylized animation and in this episode they find it and they find those different elements that really i think work in this episode is that a fact we also have another returning voice actor michael york speaking for canto my name is canto mr Mannheim. I've been authorized to offer you some assistance. We previously heard him in Batman the Animated Series speaking for Montague Kane. Well done, Batman. And when I looked this up, I didn't remember. He also spoke for Vertigo in Off Balance. So I thought that was kind of neat. The first thing I want is for you to stop asking stupid questions. So again, another great voice actor. Very iconic, very distinguished voice. A very recognizable voice but it works really well with this character as well your benefactor will explain everything at the proper time a time of his choosing i feel like there's a bit of a trend in the first season and maybe this is this was a deliberate choice and maybe this was a, a necessary evil but it feels like a lot of these episodes are each episode serves this purpose of establishing something or someone, whether it be a villain or it be kryptonite or be the origins of Superman, whatever the case is. This episode, again, it's it's like we have an entire plot around Mannheim getting different weapons to try to rob things and stop Superman. My superior was pleased. Pleased enough to tell us who he is? 
pleased enough to give you this. Which in itself is a great mystery of where are these weapons coming from and, and who's behind all of this. And the episode does also introduce uh, Maggie Sawyer and Dan Turpin. That's why they call me Terrible Turpin. And I know they reoccur in the episode, so we kind of set the stage of them and setting up the relationship there with Superman and how he works with law enforcement. You got your number one man. Good luck. Yeah, so we bring Mannheim back in, who's a gangster and, and leader of this 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 group. So he's an established character and and a adversary of Superman, but again is not, you know, he's he's not any superhuman or super villain of any sort. So now he's got this partnership where he's getting supplied these weapons. And really this whole story serves this purpose to set up the tease at the end, which I do have to say. Superman, the animated series, has been really good and does a great job of, of these little teases, these little bonus little content at the end. That depends. Which god are you talking about? Rather than waiting till the very end to see Darkseid, I feel like it would have been more powerful if they just would have jumped into a Darkseid episode. Welcome to Apocalypse, Mr. Manheim. For me personally, I feel like Darkseid is the villain of all villains in the DC Universe. So if you're watching Superman the Animated Series, I feel like you would have some knowledge of, oh, this guy's really bad or he's a big threat. So to, to where they don't need to spend a whole episode just to tease that he's going to be in it. I feel like they could just jump in with like a two-parter and tell a Darkseid episode. Uh, this, this, this episode felt like a lot of buildup to this one little tease at the end, which, which granted, the animated series does great with these little teases, but I would have rather seen a big episode uh, or a full story and jumped right into it rather than just the tease at the end. You may call me Dark Side. So when it comes time to rank this episode, it is great for what it is to establish Dark Side. Like I had mentioned, I wish that they would have just introduced him earlier in the episode and spent more time with him. Because again, I'm finding my biggest issue with some of these episodes is we got to have a threat that is worthy of Superman. Yes, they made him a little bit weaker in the, not weaker, but they made him a little less powerful that he, he, he can get hurt and, you know, strong missiles and heavy things do give him some strain, but we've got to have a really strong threat for you really did to get invested and go, is Superman going to make it through? And this episode really doesn't deliver on that, although it does set up for what's about to happen. So for those reasons, I ended up placing at the number seven spot. Still kind of far down on the list. It's just below feeding time because Parasite is a formidable threat. I mean, again, it's the it's the vice of the, the Krypton or Kryptonite, but he, he does present a, a pretty good threat against Superman, uh, opposed to Mannheim. But I do have it beaten out the last son in Krypton because as far as stories that we've heard before, uh, the origin story is is kind of that story. And, and it's it's a lot of background material for this one idea. So that's where it sits. It's my experience that nothing can get very expensive. Now that we have established Dark Side into the, the universe, what's your favorite Dark Side episode from Superman or Justice League or any of the other iterations that he's in? What's your favorite episode of featuring Dark Side? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the like button. If you want to see more episodes like this, just hit subscribe because I have new episodes coming out every Tuesday and Thursday, and we're just about ready to finish up the first season of Superman, believe it or not, already, with two's a crowd, so you don't want to miss that. As always, I'm Andy Cano. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.